A Painted House is a 2001 historical fiction novel by American author John Grisham. Unlike his previous legal thrillers, this book draws loosely from Grisham's own upbringing in Arkansas. Set in the summer and fall of 1952, the story unfolds on a cotton plantation owned by Luke Chandler's family. Through the eyes of seven-year-old Luke, the novel captures the challenges his family faces during a tough harvest, leading to severe poverty. It offers insights into rural life in the mid-20th century, reflecting on the fragility of human communities in the face of chaos and the unpredictable natural world as well as the loss of innocence during adolescence. The narrative begins with Luke and his grandfather Eli, referred to as Pappy, searching the area for laborers willing to work for low pay. Unexpectedly, they hire the Spruills, a family of hillbillies, and a group of Mexican immigrants who move around for work. Amid the labor activities, Luke finds solace in the beauty of farming, despite its demanding nature. He becomes infatuated with Tally, the 17-year-old daughter of the Spruill family, and they share flirtatious moments. Once, while swimming in a river, Tally exposes herself to Luke. The plot takes a darker turn as Tally's mentally unstable brother Hank becomes a source of trouble, violently attacking three sons of the neighboring Cisco family, resulting in the death of one. Luke, a witness to the incident, is coerced by Hank into lying and providing an alibi, claiming Hank's innocence. However, most adults, including the sheriff Stick Powers, suspect Luke is covering for Hank. Before long, Cowboy, a Mexican laborer, kills Hank and disposes of his body in the river. Luke witnesses this act as well. Cowboy warns Luke to remain silent, threatening harm to his mother if he speaks out. Eventually, Tally and Cowboy leave the town together, leaving behind a trail of complex and intense events. Luke uncovers a potentially unsettling truth, his beloved Uncle Ricky might be the father of one of the local Latcher children. Yet, with Uncle Ricky away fighting in the Korean War, this theory remains inconclusive. Another peculiar observation Luke makes is the gradual painting of the clapboards on his family's house, courtesy of an anonymous Good Samaritan. His parents grant him the responsibility to complete the task, and he receives assistance from the Mexican laborers, who become his friends. With his saved money, he purchases fresh paint. In the midst of social tensions and tragedies, Grisham interlaces vibrant descriptions of rural Arkansas and the everyday routines of farm life. Amidst these happenings, the annual town picnic and the arrival of a traveling carnival provide moments of excitement. Each day, Luke's mother ensures he starts with a nourishing breakfast before heading out to work in the fields. As evening sets in, he unwinds on the porch, gazing at the fading horizon, and tunes into Harry Karai's baseball commentary on the radio joining his family. His passion for baseball fuels his determination to save up for an athletic jacket showcased in a catalog. One memorable summer event is when he watches a live World Series game on television for the first time. Weekends bring trips to town, where his parents socialize and he and his siblings enjoy movies with friends. Sundays are reserved for church. However, before the summer's harvest concludes, a sudden flash flood devastates the remaining cotton crop. This loss severely impacts their annual income, prompting Luke's parents to seek work in the automobile industry in the nearest city. This decision marks a significant departure from the family's long-standing farming history. Upon securing positions at a Buick construction plant, Luke grapples with a sense of destabilization, fearing that his familiar world is undergoing a profound transformation. The novel concludes on an optimistic tone as Luke, accompanied by his family on a bus journey to the city, observes his mother wearing a smile. This smile reflects her anticipation of leaving behind the cotton industry, which she had always felt tied her to rural life. A Painted House presents a romanticized portrayal of this rural existence, contrasting it with an evolving modernity that is gradually distancing itself. The story highlights the emergence of fresh identities and the potential for new connections as individuals find themselves increasingly disconnected from their customary traditions and norms. I hope you enjoyed this video, leave a like if you did and be sure to subscribe thank you.